Hey guys, okay, so I just wanted to talk about Peach Girl Volume 1, like, really, really quickly. Um, trigger, trigger warnings, it talks about the R word, it talks about, like, color, um, and, like, mentions of, like, sexual assault. So, if you're not into that, like, click off this video. But, um, there will be spoilers in this video as well because I'm going to be talking about the whole manga. <laughs> um, so I spent literally a night, like, maybe two hours reading the whole thing. And the first volume has, like, 170 pages. So it was a really quick read and it was super interesting. Like, I really liked Peach Girl. Like, the way I found out about Peach Girl was through, uh, TikToks and Instagram Reels. So when I saw them, like, the anime version, I was like, oh, this looks really cool. Like, uh, Say really infuriated me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, like, I'll, I'll read it. So I did. So this is Peach Girl. And Peach Girl is about Momo, who is a high schooler, and she is very shy and reserved, but everyone calls her a beach bunny and a slut because she's very tan and she has beach blonde hair, and everyone just thinks she's, like, a party girl and, like, super, super skimpy, and Momo is like, that's not me, I'm very shy and to myself. Well, we find out that Momo has a crush on a boy named, uh, I think it's Toji, and <sighs> say her best friend, um, always tries to be like Momo, she, like, in a negative way, like, she tries to copy her, she tries to, like, be her, essentially, and she tries to, like, get with every guy she has, um, <clears throat> there's an instance where Momo liked a purse, and Say said it was ugly, and she said, like, you shouldn't get this purse, and then the next day she had the exact same purse. So, uh, Momo, uh, likes a guy named Toji, and Say feels like Momo likes someone, and she's like, who do you like? And Momo, under pressure, says she likes the most popular guy in school, and, uh, she points to him. And what does Say do? She tries to get with him, and the guy is like, uh, did, he was like, I was in the shop you were in, and you said that that purse was ugly, but here you are having it, and he was like, I don't like girls who can't, be, like, think for themselves, and he basically, like, tells Say, like, no. So, Momo, uh, go, she, um, she is still, like, into to Toji. Um, I can't remember the other guys, I think it's Kylie or Kaylee? I don't know how to say his name. But he looks like this. That's, oh, that's him. He's super cute. I like him. Um, but he goes around tell, telling all the girls in the school that he actually kissed Momo. And then these girls approach Momo and they're like, why are you kissing him? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you slut? And she's like, what are you talking about? And then she confronts the guy and he's like, yeah, you kissed me when I was drowning. And she was like, that wasn't me. That was a different lifeguard. And he was a guy. So he's like, no, it can't be true. And she's like, yes, it's true, dude. And then, like, ev like the girls hear that and they're like, oh, it, was, it wasn't it was even, a, like, a romantic kiss. Like, never mind. So, uh, Say plots a lot into, like, bringing mishap into Momo's life. Oh, my God. Sorry, my cat is, like, wild. Um, so, Say, like, tries to, like, get in between Momo and, like, the guy she likes, and it's just, like, Say, stop. Like, what's your problem, dude? So, um, <laughs> oh my god, the cat is so annoying. It's not my cat, it's my friend's cat. I'm babysitting them, and they're in heat, so that's why she's meowing like that. Um, so... Say and Toji hide behind some bushes, and Momo is telling Kylie, or whatever his name is, that she likes Toji. And Say hears it, and then Toji hears it. And so then Toji and Momo start dating, like, briefly, because of Say. Because then Say is like, oh, like, uh, you, you should meet Momo here, and then she'll tell 
Momo, like, to meet in a different place. It's really, oh, it's, oh, it's so annoying. But, um, Momo told Toji that she didn't think he'd like her because he's not into dark girls. And she tans really easily because she's on the swim team where she was, or she swims a lot. And so she always wears sunblock. She doesn't like to swim anymore because she thinks Toji doesn't like dark girls. So she's talking about how she wished she was lighter and stuff like that. And honestly, I get this was written in the 2000s, but um, if a guy doesn't like you because you're dark or light or whatever color you are, you should never date a guy who doesn't want you for you. And I think Momo doesn't realize that, even if it were to be true because she's still young and like, you know, uh, social concepts are on her, like, you know, she's like not the modern Japanese girl. Um... So she's like, you know, she's insecure. And I feel like a lot of people today are struggling with their colors because of, like, obviously racism, um, you know, discrimination against them, prejudice. And so we can talk about, like, Asian hate crime, Black Lives Matter, um, even Mexicans, like, with Donald Trump and immigrants. Like, he, like, there's so much people who don't, like... Who, I'm sorry, my cat is just acting, or the cat is just acting me. Um, so I just feel like this relates a lot to modern day girls who are struggling with their race and their colors. So I really, I enjoyed Peach Girl, but there is some stuff in here that is kind of questionable. But I really liked this volume, and if you guys like it, just give it a try. You can read it on Amazon Kindle for, like, seven bucks. So, yeah, that was my review on Peach Girl. I hope y'all like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!